Hey guys, so I got a few uh, updates to the whole homesteading project. Got another uh, hutch and another rabbit. This is the male that I ha did have originally still. And there's another big, big old buck. I don't know if he'll come out. He probably won't come out. He's a big old buck. I got him off of a fellow YouTuber, Harold Thornbrook. Anybody wants to check out his channel. It's a homesteading channel. Oh, there he is. He's a big old buck. Um, Harold gave him to me to mate with my doe. I don't know if he'll come all the way out or not, but I'm really surprised he's even showing himself at all. He's the whole width of this. I mean, he's a big old thing. starting to friendly up a little bit but I, I, I decided what I was going to do for now is put the two bucks in here where I can keep them separated so they don't fight and the queen bee gets this here that the doors will stiff I'm going to put some sort of handle on it, it or clean it off or something sand something off or whatever but She's in there. She's still kind of shy. I got that going on. I wanted to uh, mate the, the the new buck and the doe this weekend so that I'd have some meat before you know in early spring. But I'm I'm, I'm being told that that's probably not such a good idea because um, the babies may not make it through winter. Not, you know, being out here, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not. May have to wait till spring to mate them. But we'll see how things go. May try it and try to keep them warm or something. I don't know. That's the rabbit tree update. And I got a little bit bigger update. Saving it for a surprise. Bam! Just got this pulled in. New camper. I'd had to uh, trim some branches off that was overhanging it before we got it pulled in. I took the uh, deer stand up there, and honestly, I panicked, man, on that that top one there. I didn't get it all cut all through. It swung back at me. I was on the other side of the tree, but still, man. It, big hunk of limb swinging back at me just kind of freaked me out and I didn't even get it cut off we had to yank it off I got a little bit of wood from that I think I'm gonna be in walnut and some of that's good I may try to make some stuff out of it I don't know maybe spoon or something just for kicks there's my new tree stand if ain't nobody seen it yet I like it um, I don't have anything hooked up to this yet. No electric water or uh, the gas tanks I believe are empty. So, I mean, it literally, I just got it pulled in after I cleaned up this uh, mess of walnut branch around it. But, so, you can't see a whole lot. You know, walk around the outside first. I believe it's 30 foot. I haven't actually taken a tape measure or anything. I need to get the tank filled. Uh, this window, I think, needs something done to it. Just put a better tire on it to get it down here. This window's cracked or something. I'm, I'm suspecting that a lot of these lights probably don't even work, but you know, I'll have to do a little work to it. I got it cheap, 30 foot for like 850 bucks. So it's like an 85, I believe. Here's the inside. There was a leak here. 
which did damage to the inside obviously but um the uh he's had it for two years and he said he's never seen it leak in here so i believe they had painted over it someone had painted hey stop whining Chloe, behave um painted the roof before which i probably may put another coat on as soon as i possibly can and i'm gonna keep an eye on this see how it does put a tarp over it if nothing else but I'm going to have to clean this up and probably put some sort of uh, paneling up or whatever. That's something that's going to have to be done soon. There's some little cupboards and I don't know if these are wired in lights or battery lights. I think they're wired. So i got to plug it in. And there's a plug in. And this, holds, this couch folds out into a bed. More plug in thermostat light sink. We're cutting board gotten wet somewhere. Double sink. Some uh door space. Cabinets. More light under the sink. And over here, too, there's some cupboards. Clay. Can't not think of this yet. And what do we got here? Oh, patio lights. Here's all those lights. Ceiling. Night light. Hmm. Eh, what the heck that's for? Huh. That's interesting. That looks like a cable deal. Yeah, I haven't really explored around in here too much. I, like I said, just pulled it up. I walked through it before I bought it. But there's a cupboard, cupboard, more lights up here. And this folds into a bed, the table and the chairs, and there's a oh, door down there. Gas and microwave. And here's the refrigerator, which is gas or electric. This good size freezer. And this door doesn't want to latch. I don't know what the deal is with that. But the storage. There's actually a. Uh, might be down there, but somewhere in there, around here is a, a little shop back for this place. And here's the bathroom. Bathtub. Bathtub and shower. And there's been a little damage. Of, like I said. And I've been, I've walked through here while it was raining and nothing was coming through. I don't know how well anybody can see that. I really have some sort of light going on. But bathroom sink. Toilet. A bunch of, uh, bunch of little things there. Light bar up there. I don't know how you guys are seeing this. We have to brighten it up in the video thing. Right. Yeah, I think I'm going to go through and repaint all probably most of the roof. Chances are at some point, but I'm just going to take care of that part up there up front first. Here's the bed, bedroom. See some drawers and space over there, over there. Lights, some cabinets up top. Here, flash or flashlight uh, outlet. More lights and there's even speakers, Jensen speakers. I don't know where I can hook them up to, but I haven't got that far yet. Oh, what is this? I even got a sliding door here. Didn't even know that was there. Ooh, in there. 
Place in the bed. Thank you. Closet. A little light back there on both sides. Well, how the heck do you open this from the inside? All right, so I guess that that's a tricky one. I'm gonna sleep out here tonight. What do you think about that, Chloe? What do you think, Chloe? Need to work on cleaning it. Bring my shop back out here and vacuum that floor. And you get some upholstery cleaner and clean these up and wipe this down. And get it cleaned up. Burn some incense in here. Get some tie-dyed curtains going on and all that. I think I'm going to put a uh, little fire ring over here. I've got one over there, but I think I'm going to put one closer, right up close to the thing. I just got to watch out for the power line. Not get too close to the rabbits. That's it. That's the uh, new camper. I'll probably have projects going on like every day from here, from here out. I need to start busting apart some of them pallets soon. Start building another hutch. Um, the way I'm wanting to do that is um, keep the two bucks in that one that's split and let the doe have her uh, rabbits in there or bunnies and then have a grow out cage um, eventually I'll probably rebuild them all but um, eventually I think the next one that I will build probably is a bigger doe hutch so I can put two does in there maybe I don't know or I may keep a doe in there and a doe in the grow out cage I, don't know. I think I can get away with three hutches though so I need a third one that's something I'm going to start building. It's going to start looking like a campground here. Well, she's been whining a lot there. I don't know what her problem is. I think I'm going to go in and uh, get um, an extension cord and bring it out here so I can at least start having some electric in here. I need to get the key for this place too. They forgot to bring the key for the doors. And I'm gonna need that. Huh. Little padded thing there. I guess that's for tall people in case they bump their heads or something. Huh. Probably just gonna tear some of that out here before I even start cleaning. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do for a quick patch yet. Maybe just put some plastic up there or something like that. I don't know. But, we shall see. Uh, well, I'm going to shut this off and uh, maybe I'll do some sort of updates a little later. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so here it is with uh, the electric plugged in. Oh, there we go. Looks like I got a bulb out there. Yeah. There's a few of these I'm finding that ain't working. I don't know if there's a breaker, if it's the, uh, or if it's the, uh, let me see. I think these are all outside lights. Oh, no, that's an inside light, sir. So I don't know what that one is. It says night light. That's really a. It's really an outside light. 
those lights work. Right, that one looks like it needs clean. Mm, what is this? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> those lights work. They all look like they need clean. That needs a bulb in it. Neither one of these bathroom lights are working for some reason. Or these, or I haven't found where to. Or these. Or those lights are working. Those lights back there are working except for that one. And this one is not working. Try the plugins first. What's this? That's weird because oh the oh wait that one came on oh, it looks like a short maybe or something that did come on I saw it so got some lighting issues to deal with them and I'm gonna check the plugs here in a little bit. That's the electric going on so far. Good deal. And I hear the uh, feels like it's getting cool, but I need to wait for a little bit to find out. But uh, I can hear the uh, refrigerator running, so it's a good thing. All right, there's a little update. A little another, another little project that started. Tonight, I'm cleaning the uh, camp room, arranging it. I don't know if you can see very well. Those are that's a cast iron Dutch oven and lid, and that's a cast iron griddle. Burn the rust off of them. Pretty rusty. I guess I should show you what they look like before I started this process. I'm gonna try to burn the rust off of them. And Hit them with a wire brush. And I kept on flipping these there. Uh, pretty hot fire there. I'm still piddling around in the uh, camper. Can't get uh, internet access, so I'm having trouble. My motor or router. 